The consensus mechanism plays the key role. So consensus, this is a key part in Bitcoin design. So there are lots of miners all around the world um, connected through the internet. They uh, do a competition uh, in order to get the reward, block reward. So they are solving some problems, like a consensus algorithm problems. And then uh, maybe someone in uh, New York say, oh, I have mined the next block, okay? And then another person in Europe says, oh, I have mined another one, right? Things like that. And then uh, basically the longer chain uh, uh, wins, okay? So why do you think longer chain uh, wins. I mean, why, why the rule makes sense here? So co let's compare, let's say, you know, uh, uh, one person mined the blockchain, uh, uh, one person mined a new block and added to the, connected to the blockchain like this. So this is the block height is 100. This chain here is, this person mined the two blocks. So there is a block height is 101. So which, which block we uh, need to trust more? Longer one? Why? It does more proof. It does more proof? So proof uh, involves what? In order to make another proof, what do you need to do? You have to spend the energy, electric energy. So which one stores more energy? Longer chain. Right. Which one is more difficult to uh, you know, attack? Longer one, because more investment was put into it. More electric energy was put into it. So it is more difficult to break this. Okay? So that's uh, another mechanism designed by Satoshi Nakamoto. Right? There is an economic reason, game theoretic reason, right? like that. All right. Now, blocks are cryptographically chained. So what, is, what does this mean? There is a cryptographic uh, function called the hash algorithm. Uh, we will study this uh, later on. But uh, this one is, what does this is? Uh, it uh, creates a one-way chain. Right? You, for example, the, there is a block content. And then we hash this and then write into this. Hash is basically is a summary of the uh, record put in right here. So if something changes here, a single bit change, then the hash value changes. So that's a ha hash function. And then the block header, here is the block body. There is a block header where there is a timestamp. So here time one, time two, time three, and so on. And then hash of this uh, previous block, right? And uh, Buckleut hash, which is the summary of this part, right? So the block header is basically the summary of the whole block, okay? And then including the history. So for example, if you take a look at this, hash of the transaction record. So if uh, any transaction record change it uh, in a, um, accidental manner, or someone is, uh, 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 you know, changed it with some intention, then this, uh, ha uh, sorry, then this Merkelut hash changes. And then this uh, block header content is changed. And then the next hash is going to get changed again. So this will create a chain reaction throughout the whole blockchain. Then you will, you will be able to see because hash value has changed. Ah, oh, someone has changed something somewhere in the blockchain. You will be able to detect it right away. Okay? And then uh, computers are fast, so, so you can uh, redo all this uh, hash work and then change the chain of uh, hashes very fast because the, there are computers. The computer is doing the computation. So in order to 
prevent uh, someone changes the whole blockchain. Basically, uh, Satoshi has designed a proof of work mechanism so that in order to uh, change this, it takes a large amount of time uh, doing this change all along. So this, uh, you know, finding the next hash is determined by not all hash value is uh, good, but I will say that some hashes are good, but other hashes are not going to be good. Okay, so it's a good and bad hashes. So basically, when a miner finds a good hash, then there is, uh, uh, it is called a mining success. And then uh, to that uh, miner node, the Bitcoin reward is given to. Okay? That way, uh, you know, it can, uh, the network can prevent the, uh, the hashy redoing attack. Okay? So we'll talk about that uh, 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 in greater detail later on. Okay? So here, content in the blockchain cannot be changed easily because of the proof of work that I have said. What happens when any alteration is made in the record? Then hash value changes. Okay? So you can detect. <coughs> any alteration is easily noticeable. That's what I mean. Okay? Because hash value changes. And if an unnoticeable change were wanted, the whole alteration would be needed. So if, uh, you know, in order to change uh, block content uh, uh, in uh, blockchain, then a person has to redo all the chain work, okay? But, but uh, in order to do that, because of a proof of work, it takes a large amount of time doing it uh, single-handedly. So if a small group of uh, nodes trying to do it, it takes years, like uh, 10 years or 30 years. But as a group of the whole network, it will take only 10 minutes because there are millions of nodes working together to solve this problem. 10 million network of nodes can produce another block in 10 minutes, but if you want to uh, do this work all alone, it takes three years or four years, five years. So it is very difficult to redo all the work. Okay? When you are able to redo all the work, you can do double spending. So this, that's the case. So proof of work is imposed to the chain. Thus the whole job cannot be redone easily. That's what I mean. And then we will talk about this technology in greater detail in this course. And uh, because of this proof of work imposed on each block, I intended to say that using this thick arrow, thick arrow. This is a group's work, not only a single node work. We are doing this together as a uh, group. So this can be uh, created in 10 minutes. But if you have to do it all alone, the work is uh, too enormous. You, you, it will take a million years. I mean, <laughs> not million years, a couple of years alone. And uh, here, immutability and openness allow one to transact with each other over the internet. Okay? So here are transactions. I'm, I'm now showing you the transaction now. So I will, after I've show, shown you this, then I will stop for today. So here is a very important chart, okay? So here, A sent B two Bitcoins, okay? A is uh, uh, Elvis, B is uh, <laughs> Elvis again, <laughs> all right? So uh, what does miner do? What does miner have to do in order to validate this transaction? The one we have said over there on the board, okay? Minor node, my check if AI has two bitcoin. Uh, yeah, so check if AI has two bitcoin in his account, okay? If uh, he has two bitcoin, it's okay, okay? And then if this block is mined, right, and published, then this is going to be a permanent record, right? So. In order to prevent 
in order to prevent double spending, what does minor has to do? Double spending. What does the minor have to worry about previous transaction or not? Which has been already published. If it was already published, then the A does not have that money anymore, right? So he doesn't have to worry about previous transactions, right? Because it has been securely done through the proof of work, right? So he believes all the previous works are okay, right? So in this case, by checking if uh, A has enough money for making this transaction, then it is good enough. Now, well, what are the other chances double spending might happen? Any guess? Gyeongdo? Uh, other chain local. Oh, there's uh, making uh, other chain. That's a double spending attack, but uh, that's too advanced for now. Uh, any, anyone? Uh, uh, any other thoughts? Uh, a is also sending the amount to another person. Yeah, A is sending the same amount of, to another person. Well, sending, not the same, it doesn't have to be. Sending, making another transaction to another person. Let's say A is sending two Bitcoin to C, right? And then that transaction is written right here, right? So A has only two Bitcoin. A is sending B two Bitcoin. And then A is sending C one Bitcoin. Then how much he is trying to spend? He only has two Bitcoin, but trying to spend three Bitcoins, right? If miners are not careful, such transaction might be recorded into this block. And then if this block publishes, that becomes a permanent record, then double spending success. Attacker wins. A is the attacker, right? Try to double spend, right? So miner has to check in the current block if there is any double spending account if uh, you know that has to be done okay so after he has checked the current block then he doesn't have to do any more right the transactions in the past is okay because others have checked it already millions of nodes have checked it already so when uh, this block i mean the uh, this block is published what does other node does. I don't know. This is a peer-to-peer -peer system, right? No central authority. No one is trusted. In cryptography, no one is tr trusted. You trust this node because of economic reason, right? And uh, using cryptography. Because I have a means to verify I can trust this work because uh, this person, if he has done a uh, bad job, I can detect it through verification, right? In this case, what is this? If uh, this block is mine, sent to everyone in the network, then other node does what? Yeah, other nodes validate it, right? See if there is any double spending transaction. If uh, there is any double spending transaction, what others will do? They will not use this block because this block is no good, right? If I use this block and then do a lot of uh, work to connecting to uh, this network, right? Build on top of this, then others will not trust, uh, I mean, others will invalidate my work, right? Because this, there is a wrong transaction in it. So, I spend a lot of electricity, energy, right? But I'm, I will not going to get any block reward, right? So I have to be careful, right? Because others are going to be check 
check my work, right? So each node has to do the uh, has to do the validation work rightfully, right? Otherwise, otherwise there will be no economic benefit for me, right? Because others will not going to uh, trust uh, my block, right? Because I, others are not just accepting it; they are going to validate it, right? So that's the meaning of P2P. Okay? I am doing the work, and then all the others will validate my work. And then if someone uh, was successful mining a block, then I will validate his work as well. And then if this work is no good, I'm not going to use it, because if I use it and then build on top of it, others will not Yeah, I'm not going to get any reward because the others will not accept it. Okay? So that's the meaning of P2P. Okay? So I will stop right here and then continue next time. Okay? <coughs> Take a look at it. <coughs>